14th of Safa. On this day in the year 38 AH, Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr was martyred. He was one of the closest companions of Imam Ali salam, appointed by him as the governor of Egypt. His father died when Muhammad was only two years and several months old, and thus Muhammad was raised in the house of Imam Ali salam. The Imam loved him and regarded him as his own son. He was one of the prominent critics of the conduct of Uthman bin Affan during the caliphate of Imam Ali salam. He was one of the Shurtatul Khamis and the commander of a section of the Imam's army in the battles of Jamal and Safin. He is praised in historical and hadith sources. The first problem Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr faced in Egypt was the problem of deserters. That is, those who gathered after the murder of Uthman to condemn his murder, refusing to pay allegiance to Imam Ali salam. By the command command of Imam Ali, one month after Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr arrived in Egypt, he wrote a letter to deserters and ordered them to accept his rule or go out of Egypt. The deserters did not accept that and responded, do not rush in fighting with us. Muhammad tolerated them for some time until the battle of Safin finished. At the beginning, the deserters were also afraid of getting into conflict with Muhammad. But later, when the situation became increasingly unstable, they rebelled. A number of wars occurred between them and Muhammad's army. Apparently, the latter came to the conclusion that he couldn't defeat them. So he signed a peace treaty with them, which made them stay away from Fusta, the capital of Muhammad's rule. Later, the deserters emigrated to the lands under Muawiyah's rule and joined him. However, the situation got more complicated and Muhammad was unable to keep everything under his control. So Imam Ali salam decided to replace Muhammad with someone more powerful and experienced. For that reason, Imam chose Malik al ash there are different viewpoints as to how Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr was martyred. Most sources maintain that when his army was defeated by the Syrian army, his companions left him and fled. Muhammad alone sought refuge in a ruined place where he was found and killed by Muawiyah bin Hudayj, one of the chiefs of the deserters and his body was burned by him. Some have said that he was killed by Muawiyah bin Hudayd during the battle. It is also said that Amr ibn As captivated and killed him. When the news of his martyrdom reached Imam Ali salam, the Imam wept and said, he was a righteous servant of Allah and a righteous son for us.